So I'll just be doing a quick review of the Matrix M1 Pro scale. I'm gonna tell you guys what I like, what I don't like about this scale, and then, like I said, the purpose of the scale is really just to let you know how much water you're brewing in, and then how much coffee is being extracted out without having to take the extra step of weighing your coffees out again. Now, the scale itself is very sleek, it's very simple. Uh, build quality feels quite nice. I think it's a little bit thick in my, in my opinion, but it is overall pretty nice. Uh, it's simple, it's got that black, black little square, and then it's got the two heat resistant pads it comes with. One of them's got the marble pattern that's, that's on their box, and then the other one's just the standard black uh, heat resistance pad. Now that you're gonna notice that there's gonna be four different buttons on it. Uh, one of them's gonna be the power button, also the tear button. One of them is the timer, which kind of it acts as a start of the timer, and then there's just the mode option. Um, there's gonna be four different modes on it and you're gonna be able to select between the four of them. And then there's just gonna be the, uh, uh, the one that changes the, the ounces or grams or what milliliters, uh, forgot that word. Anyways, you know, um, let's get right into the scale. Now, the scale itself, the best functions are that it has four different corners to the reading area, uh, the top left being the timer, the bottom left being the ratio of your water to your coffee beans. Uh, the top right is the water you poured in and then the bottom right is the coffee that's been extracted out. Now aside from the four different readings, there's four different uh, modes to it too. I'll only be doing really the first mode because that's kind of like the specialty of, of this scale. Um, the second mode is like a free, free kind of pour kind of mode, um, which makes it more of like a normal scale. The third one is more for espresso. And then the fourth one is one that abuses its auto tear option very well. So the auto tear is something I wanted to talk about next. The auto tear on this scale is, it literally has one time where it auto tears, and that's after you turn it on. So, or like you reset the mode. So when you turn it on or you reset the mode, you gotta give it like a three second grace period before you put anything on it, because otherwise it bugs out. But when you put something on there, you give it a three seconds again, and it automatically tears itself. So that item just disappears, and you get to brew and calculate all its math. So the the cool thing about this scale is it kind of remembers the different weights that's, you know, when it auto tears. Now, uh, in the fourth mode, it actually auto tears between each of your pores. So if you do multi pores and you have like 80, 60, 22, 33, 47, and then like 54, kind of like a secret different volume pour per pore kind of shenanigan, right? Uh, it'll actually just go zero and then you can pour exactly that number you're looking for without having to do the math of adding 22 plus 57 in the middle of your brew. Um, so it's kind of a cool option. And, uh, but we'll mostly be talking about it for the first one, uh, for the first mode, which is the standard mode. What you need to do is once you turn it on, you need to wait for it and then you need to put the dripper or the decanter on there. Once you've got the decanter on there, the, the little symbol for auto tear has turned on. Then you can add the rest of your stuff, wet it out, and then, uh, and then you hit the actual tear button. So uh, yeah, there's an auto tear and then a normal tear. Once you hit the normal tear, then you can add your beans in and that'll kind of set everything up in the top right corner. And when you're ready to pour, then you hit the timer, which then auto tears the the coffee grind weight, which is kind of confusing. But anyways, once you start pouring your, your water in, um, the bottom left corner is where the ratio shows up. You have to wait for that to kind of show up before you pour the water in, otherwise it completely bugs out. Um, so the scale itself needs a lot of waiting between everything. And that's because it's trying to store all the data of the weights, whether it's the weight of the, the decanter or the weight of the grinds you add in. Now, the other annoying thing is um, weighing the beans. I, I actually struggle a lot with weighing the beans because you have to press the mode button to refresh the mode. And the sensitivity on that button is really high. So if you're a little bit too low on the button, it actually changes the measurement system. So sometimes you're going to be working in ounces or sometimes you're going to be working in grams. And and that just kind of really annoys me. Um, also, 
when you hit the mode button, it needs three seconds to like calibrate and then you put your device on there and when you put your kind of like catcher or, or your decanter or whatever it is, it still take, needs another three seconds to auto tear itself. So there's a lot of waiting between everything. So uh, for you to really like finish brewing one coffee, you're gonna be waiting a decent amount between the auto tears. Um, and so I find that kind of annoying. Uh, but for the price point, I think the scale itself is all right. It gives you a lot of information and it's good for people who have refractometers like myself, like I said, um, just not having to take the extra step to weigh things is nice. But I do find the delay a little bit longer than I would like. So uh, I personally, a bit of like a, a hectic person, I like to be fast, quick, sharp about things. So the scale itself is a little bit too slow and too chunky for me. Um, but at the price point, it's about 55 USD or 75 Canadian, which at least in Canada, it's cheaper than the Hario scale. So um, given how good it looks, I think it's still worthy of considering, especially if you're kind of like an amateur uh, barista, home barista. Uh, I, I need something faster for the store, so I, don't, I wouldn't use this scale um, personally. I can still weigh on my coffee afterwards and... And have a faster time to to figure it out on the refractometer, just because it, it's easier for the workflow. So, um, for people who have more time when they're brewing their coffees or like they like to take their times between their their brews, um, this is a good scale. It's a it's a good scale. It tells you a lot of information. It's a, it's an interesting scale. I see the novelty of it. I had a chat with the owners themselves. They we we did a a call on Instagram and. Um, they like the feedback, and I, I figured I would still post this video as is anyway. So I hope you guys like the honest review. Um, this is at least my personal review on it. I think it's a cool scale, but it, it, it could be a little bit faster. But I understand why it's slow. So hope you guys like this video. Um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.